Wait for me. Stay here. Mister! Mister! Hey. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for someone around here, and her name is uh, Katya. What do you want with her? Huh? Oh, I'm her son. I'm, I'm Harry Liu. I come from Beijing. Harry? Huh? Are you Harry? Yeah. Look at you all grown up! Uh, who are you? Your uncle, Uncle Edward! Y you... Your uncle Edward, kid! Uh, uh, Can't you uh, see that you look like me? Uh, 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 hold on. Uh, my dad is here, too. Uh, Ernie Liu is here. Hey, hey come here. Uh, oh, oh, wait, Uncle! <laughs> Ernie Leo? No, wait. Are you Ernie Leo? No, no, just hold on. No, wait. no, no, just Uncle. Get off! Get off! L listen, l listen to me, Uncle. My mom and dad is very sick, and he can't remember things anymore. He, he, he's got dementia. He's not the same. <laughs> you know what this is, huh? Karma! Huh? Wait. Come on, let's go inside. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, wait a second, please. Leave him! I can't. Just hang on. Come on! Just one second. Look, look, my dad is sick, all right. Hey, Dad. Dad? Dad? Dad, Dad. Uh, you thirsty? Huh? What is it? Oh, let's go and take a look then, yeah? Uncle, Uncle, I'm sorry. I'll just be a few minutes. Y you've been here before. So you want to talk now? This baby of mine. I'm sorry. I am in love with you. I'm not saying that you don't love me. no religion, but I know that this is a big deal. We all have moms. One day I hope to be a mom too. And I'm trying to understand how Laura is feeling. She must be feeling awful. I have always believed that love is us being together all the time and being able to depend on each other. Before I met you, I was unhappy being here. Not even Harry could keep me here. Then I met you, and I felt that I didn't need to go. 
I didn't care about America. I was happy being here. Being with you. What do we do now? I have always put my trust in you, Yen. And I don't think it's your fault. But I don't know whose fault it is. Is it mine? I just can't accept the truth. <sighs> okay, let's stop this. I'll see you later. I still think that you should say sorry to me. Back then, your mom was here, but then she became very ill. Your grandpa spoke to many doctors, hoping. But after ten more days, she passed away. Karma. Uncle, where is my mother buried? When your mom passed away, she had no children here. According to the village rules here, when somebody has died, they're buried with their ancestors. But before your mom became very unwell, she said that she had really loved the old locomotives. And she loved the train tracks. And so when the time came, she wanted to be buried near the tracks. You see, she was about to die, but she wouldn't let go yet. Your grandpa and I, we loved her very much. So we agreed to her wish. Can you take me to her grave? Harry, your mom had a difficult life. We all did here, your mom's family. You can see the pain in our eyes. And you're grown up. You're a successful kid. Your mom was looking down from heaven with a smile on her face. Oh, God. It's all right, okay? Uh, nothing good comes from wine. So please, don't drink too much. Don't be like your dad, right? Don't go off getting drunk every day. Look what it did to the family. Destroyed it. Uh, it was a big problem, and my mom left us. Dad never spoke of it. I guess because I was still young and, and he was scared I'd get sad. So he drank, uh, he drank so much because he was really frustrated. It was a tough time. And he tried his best to raise me all by himself, but it wasn't easy for him, really. Oh, uh, how did my parents meet? I was never told about it. Your mom always had such a connection with the railroads. Back in the day, my uncle, uh, who's your great uncle, oh. he worked on the trains as well. Ah, oh, and so then your mom left. She left and went to help my uncle. So she moved to the city. She helped him wash clothes and make meals for him. One day, when she was hanging up the washing, there was this train approaching, and the train blew its whistle. The driver waved at your mom. And since then, every time the train came in and passed by her, the train would whistle. Whenever your mom would hear that whistle, she'd go outside with a white shirt of hers and wave it at the driver, like they knew each other already. How romantic. Uh, and then what? And then my uncle set a date with him and your mom so they could meet. Mm. Uh, and it was all well organized, having them meet up on Saturday afternoon. 
But then guess what else? There was the son of the union's chairman, and he wanted to meet your mom too. You see the issue? A young train driver can't compare to the son of the union's chairman. But your great uncle kept his word. So he took your mom to meet the driver. But he also had something else to say. Look at the man, talk to the man, but no way you'll marry him. Oh, so, so, so what did my mom do about that? Your great uncle was the breadwinner of the family then. Nobody would disobey him. And on that day, your mom was home and looking at the floor and also not making eye contact with us. And do you know what your mom said then? No, what? That she'll marry him. Your great uncle was furious. <sighs> so, so the driver is my dad? That's right, it's your dad. What did he do to make my mom want to marry him? Oh, man. Your mom didn't even see your dad. She only looked down at his shoes. What? Uh, and they were full of holes. Uh, when your mom saw that, she knew he was the one. <laughs> your mom didn't even look at his face, but wanted him. What an odd blind date she had, right? And after a long time of dating together, your father finally got the much-needed approval of everyone. The time passes, and no one knows what happens next, right? We all believed that they would have lived happily ever after. But that all changed. And every time your dad came home, he would immediately hit the bottle and would get extremely drunk. Your mom couldn't take it anymore, so she came back home. Once she came back here, she started to get sick. And nothing would make her better. And so... Hey, Uncle. Uncle. And, uh, hey, cousin. Auntie. Uh, Uncle, cheers. cheers. Uh, mm. Well, my dad, he, he just never forgot my mom. When I was young, I thought that my mom left us. I understand now. He wouldn't talk to me. He didn't want me to know. He wanted me to miss her. But he couldn't say what was wrong. So he'd get drunk to ease his pain, to feel better. I've known him my whole life as a drunkard. But now I know he did it because he missed her. And these days, with his dementia, he, he always says my mom's name. And, and that's why I brought him uh, to her village. And so when you're free, I want to pay my respects to my mom. Fine. Tomorrow then. inside the house. Are you alone? Harry, come outside. Come outside and laugh at me. Come outside and laugh. Come outside and laugh at me knowing that I'm broken up with you.
don't be happy. <laughs> Please, Harry, don't don't be happy this happened. <laughs> you can't be satisfied. <sighs> Katya? Your son and husband are here to see you today. When your mom passed away, your great uncle and I buried her here. She said that she could be able to see the train coming in to the mountains. In fact, what she wanted was to see you and your dad here with her. She felt by being here that she would be much closer to you too. Uncle, in these years, did my dad come visit? He did, but my uncle stopped him. My uncle said, if your dad dared to come near, he'd break his legs. But then your great uncle could not let go of his pain. the secret in his heart. When I was young, I thought when Mom left, she deserted me. That she didn't want me. And not my dad, because of his drinking. So she left. But my mom had passed away. My dad was scared I would get upset. So he wouldn't tell me the truth. Time passes. He's gotten old. Still, he never tells me. And these days, he's not who he was. So he'll never tell me. But luckily, he remembers her. Remembers my mom. I'm leaving now. Just a sec. <laughs> All right. Go in. Let's go.
little elf. You came to see my home. Forgetting my whole past. Huh? It's nothing. Let me help you. Come. Uh. uh I'll fix uh, that. We're so happy to have another guest in the village here. And these are from the gardens, too. Hey, have a drink. Come on now, have a drink with me. Ah. Uh, oh, good health, Uncle. Yeah. Come on, drink. Sure. Welcome. <laughs> Your girlfriend? No, 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 she's not. You sure she isn't? <laughs> no, no, it's true. She's just a neighbor of ours, an old friend. <laughs> really, <laughs> really. Hey, try some of this dish. Right. Here, try it. Okay. So, uh, you came here to see my dad, right? Of course. Did, did, did you come to see me at all? What? Oh, no, 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 no nothing. Oh, here. Some, some more. Legs. What are you thinking? I'm thinking... This temple. When my dad and mom were young. When they first met. When they fell in love. The two of them made a wish. To be here. And spend their lives together. When I brought my dad here. He saw this temple. Paid his respects. I thought maybe he remembered something. Maybe of my mom. Maybe of himself. Maybe when they were both young. 
Now I'm here. Experiencing my mom's village. I know so much more of their past. About my mom and my dad. When they were happy, why they weren't. As a child, I hated her. How she left. I hated dad for driving my mom away from us. But now I get it. Not to hate. Because at that time, they had no choice in their lives. Or they were just young. It's all in the past now. It's over. I don't hate anyone. I just miss them. I miss my childhood. I miss my parents when they were young. I still remember what she looked like. And you? What are you thinking? I was thinking of my mom. Actually, all parents are the same in this world. They always think they know best. And they worry for their children. My mom must be wondering where Wayne is. Even I don't know where. <sighs> and I can't lighten her burden. I sometimes think when we're both old, where will we be? What will we look like? Let's get ready. The bus will be here. So Wayne asked me to hand this over to you. Where is Wayne? He got married? Mom. He got married, huh? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Wayne is gone. He's gone now.
So where has Wayne gone? Wayne is dead. Mom, you remember when Wayne and I left home before? Well, the two of us ended up living on the streets. I hoped he'd turn himself in, but he wouldn't listen. And we fought, had a big argument, and then we separated. <laughs> and then, early this morning, the cops <sighs> came to tell me <sighs> that Wayne is dead. <laughs> he died in a car accident. Mom, I've lost Wayne. I don't have anything now. I can only come to you, Mom. Please, I'm begging for you to help me. I'm pregnant with Wayne's baby. Why is it taking 
is a lot. I'm getting really scared. Look at me. Oh no, Sean, I forgot to hire a midwife for her. What are we gonna do? After the baby comes, what will we do next? Huh? Don't worry about it, it's fine. Huh? I'll go online. You will? Yeah, I'll search for it online. You'll find it online? Yeah, of course. Oh, well that eases my heart. I'm proud of you, Sean. Blessings to you both. Blessings to you both. Blessings to you both, my darling. Wishing you good health. Are you the family? He's six pounds and very healthy. Hey, Sean. Jane. Do you see this? Do you see this? Wayne's little boy. He looks so healthy. <laughs> darling, darling, do you see this? We have a new grandson with us. I've been away for a year now. This year, I've lived all over the place. I've seen many separations and reunions. I understand now, there are no absolutes in our lives, but the heart searches for it. Beijing, I've come back. Thank you. 